you can pump for fucking half an hour. It's a bunch of, it, it, it's good. It's that little pump is good when you pump up something like this. This is your rear shock. You, you occasionally you check the air on this rear shock and you use that little pump, and it's good for these tires a little bit. But these big tires, these four, you can pump a long time before you get any air in those fucking things. So it's just not practical for those type type of bikes. You may have you may want to get those. Uh, they have the little uh, cylinders that have air in them, compressed air in them, and you use those to inflate. That's what you actually need when you get a flat on the trail. Is you need those cylinders to connect and fill up your tire quickly. And they're light. They, they're, that's, I'll have to look into those, see if that's something that's viable. They're kind of pricey, though, too. You know, there's a pr huge, that's kind of a, a big price point on them. And will they work when you need them to work? You know what I'm saying? I've never used one. But not only that, I mean, how bad is the hole? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it'd be nice to pump it up and go. It, all these things you have to consider, you know what I mean? Do you have to repair the tire? Of which we do have a, a patch kit with us. I put the patch kit back inside that backpack. That's where it belongs. But I got a feeling when I, when I do the long ride, we will be taking the compressor. If you do an ex extra long ride, you're going to be taking the compressor and the fucking extra battery. Okay. I think we're going to go eat breakfast. We're going we're gonna to shut you down. We're good to go. Um, oh, man, it's great. Let's shut it down. <laughs>